I've got a little bit of model prep going on here. This is a pretty simple part. I've got a, a bent piece of aluminum. It's an aluminum extrusion, um, extruded arm that's coming into the lab um, for some measurement here. And I've got a few dimensions on here. Let me make this a little bit smaller. So I've got a handful of dimensions that are going to be on this part that we'll be shooting up too. So I'm just looking at doing some model prep here. And I've got a couple features on here that, uh, that I've got so far that I'm going to be measuring up. And I've already started formatting a report. What I've got is my, my title page here. And I always like to balloon the drawing inside of Polyworks. You can see that here. I'm, I've got a few of those on the page view already started. But, um, but check this out. So I've got dimension one that's going to show up here. That's the angle of this plane here, this side of that extruded arm. And what, it, what that's relative to in the CAD model is the, they call it the horizontal here, but it's actually my Y component. So let me run back to the 3D scene. I'm going to hide all these features again just a second, except this dimension one plane. Okay, so the Y angle that shows up is three degrees. So I've already shot a snapshot of that. I'll go back to the report editor and scroll down just a little bit. Here is going to be my first page of actual dimensions that show up as snapshots. So you can see I've got plane one here, this dim one plane that's got a three degree angle on it. But now what I keep doing is uh, I keep adding more, uh, more features or more output more yeah here's another dim dim three that i've got on here so i'm adding more and i would love to put those dimensions into that same snapshot well polyworks makes that super easy see i've already named my snapshot here dim one snapshot but what i want to do is add some more features um, to that snapshot so i can highlight it i right click on it and i go to the edit edit snapshot and look, look what it does here. It puts me into that same view with, uh, with the output I've got in there so far. And it's got this hash mark all the way around it yet. So it's still in an edit mode. So now what I'll do is I'll run to the tree view. And back in the model tree here, maybe I want to show my dim two line. I'm going to middle mouse button push down to show that. Now I'll kind of pan over a little bit, maybe zoom out just a little bit. And I get a move an, uh, an annotation here a little bit, and this annotation just a little bit. Okay, so I've got DIM2 on there. So this 425 dimension is actually what's showing up here. Let me scroll up. So DIM2, okay, it's that 425 dimension. Okay, cool. So I do like that to show up. I'll run back to the model tree. Maybe I want to show the cylinder too. I've got an arc here. Let me move you over just a little bit. Okay, so that dimension three for the cylinder, that diameter actually shows in my, I'll run back to the report editor here. Here's my dim three. Oh, it actually shows up as a radius of 312. Okay, no problem. Let's run back to the 3D scene, back to the tree view highlight that dim three cylinder and again you can still see this hash mark i'm still in edit mode on this picture so i will right click on that and go to the geometry controls give me radius not diameter and yeah it's got a tolerance on there let me do an update of that of 1.6 millimeters plus or minus Okay, so that shows up there. Okay, now I'll get rid of the geometry controls. Okay, I'm still in this hash, um, hash mark, so I'm still doing edit. Okay, so I've got those three dimensions. Okay, that should be pretty good for right now. So let me run back to my dialog zone, and then I can recapture. Then that hash mark uh, border kind of goes away from that. Now I'll go back to my report editor. And then I will scroll down, scroll down to that picture right there. That is kind of a boring picture. I'd like to put a few more things into that, which I've just recaptured. So 
that is this snapshot here. I can click and I'm holding down my left mouse button now and I'm just dragging him in to this scene and dropping it. So I just let go, then it auto populates, it puts the other two dimensions onto that screenshot, which is awesome because now what I can do is once I start to measure all of these features in this measurement session, all of these measured components will populate. So then this picture in the report will automatically update. But just a quick way to show you guys how to update pictures. Um, if you like the view, um, the orientation of that view, just come in, highlight that snapshot, and then with your right mouse, click on Edit and Edit Snapshot.